It's time. No, it's too early. It's been five months. We can't wait any longer. It's time. Are you absolutely sure he's ready? Isn't the point to do it when he's not ready? We have to catch him off guard. I just want to avoid causing him too much damage. Anything that happens now is out of our hands. It's all on him. Okay. Tell the others we start tomorrow. Usual stuff. Uh, pisses me off. Don't worry about it. I'm just jealous of my swag. Are you alright? You look a bit preoccupied. I'm not feeling so good. I might go home early. No, that history test. You don't want to have to make it up. Whatever. Glad you're okay. Same. I've been looking for you all over. What happened earlier? I didn't know you could fight like that. Neither did I. It was pretty awesome. Are you okay? Yeah, but I'm not gonna be when my parents figure out that I was in a fight. Don't worry about it. You were defending me, remember? Come on. Let's get out of here.
So did you have any trouble for yesterday? Nah, it let me off because I was defending you. And because I have a clean record. Didn't even get a detention. Nice. That's good. We should... What is this? Maybe you're wanted by the government. Shut up. I'm serious. Is, is this a joke? I don't know. Probably. Are you gonna go? No. Definitely not. WPRA headquarters. It's not far. Is there any point in asking why? Of course. You're not being kidnapped, Adam, so stop worrying about that. You're not in trouble and you're not going to be interrogated either. And you're just coming for a short visit. What is all this? It's your file. You filled out most of it yourself. Uh, no I didn't. What are you doing? What is this stuff? Okay, Adam. What I'm about to tell you is something a little bit unbelievable. But I promise you, it's true. Okay, be my guest. The Witness Protection Research Agency has developed a new technology called the CAM Procedure. It basically gives you a new personality, a new identity. It does this by erasing all your old memories and putting new ones in its place. It gives you a completely new life. That keeps people safe. How does it work? The brain functions by sending signals with electrical impulses. The CAMP procedure imitates the signals of the hippocampus, specifically the ones that create and store memory. This was developed by three young genius scientists who graduated Princeton University at age 13. I am one of them. Our lead developer on the project was named Adam Lomax. You. Uh huh. And you expect me to believe I did all that without knowing it, or? Oh no, of course not. You're fully aware of what you're doing. You see, when we reached a point in our experiments where we could go no further, you decided that we had to do one final test, a test on a person. You insisted that we perform the procedure on you, causing you to forget everything. We set you up with a completely new life, just as we would with one in the witness protection program. We were to put it to the test, see if it would trigger your old self to return. And that brings us to right now. Do you have any memory of this, Adam? No, and I don't know how I can believe this. M my parents, my family... They work for us. They know. S so if I call them right now... Call them then. They'll give you the same story. No. No. Are you alright, Adam? No, I'm not alright! How can I be alright when I hear that my whole life is not real? I'm sorry this is so hard on you. Cameron was worried you'd take it badly. Cameron? 
He's a third scientist. Adam, I just want to talk. Go away. Adam, I thought we were friends. Yeah, I thought so too. Until you lied. You knew about this the whole time. I trusted you. I know you did. That's why you asked me to do it. I remember when this was taken. We were so close to a breakthrough. That's why Bridget looked so stressed out. Summer before eighth grade. What? The summer before eighth grade. We went out biking. We fell. We were always pretty bad with bikes. We started bleeding. I had to stop the bleeding with my t-shirt while I called 911. I thought you were gonna die. I was so scared. But the guy in the emergency room said you'd be fine. Head wounds always bleed a lot. And you're gonna be fine. Didn't even need stitches. There wouldn't even be a scar. Adam. I remember how you started laughing when they told me that. You said my face was funny. I told you you were being an idiot. But really, it was just because I was so glad that you were okay. But that wasn't real, was it? That was just a memory you made up, right? Or was it Bridget? Actually, it was you. What am I supposed to do? I don't remember any of the stuff you're telling me is true. All I remember is the stuff you're telling me is fake. You really remember nothing? Nothing at all. That's good though, right? It means... It means the procedure works. So what? Now? Now we go down in history. So I'm gonna go down as history as the kid who built something he can't even remember? No, of course not. You thought you let yourself have the procedure without remembering your whole life? Of course not, but she didn't tell you. She probably meant to. I kind of stormed out. Well, yeah, you've got a drug, a pill, about how to counteract the effects of the camp procedure. That'll restore your old memories. Now that we know the project's a go, you can take it. What's wrong? It's just so surreal, man. I know. I get it. I understand. It must be weird. Don't worry. I won't let anything bad happen to you. Thanks, man. Do you want me to drive you home? Nah, I think I'm gonna walk. I really need to think. Alright. does at 180, you start to notice the little things, things that you used to overlook. That night, I saw every bird that passed overhead. I heard the sound of every leaf I stepped on. When everything you once knew becomes transient, tend to take comfort in the things that stay constant.
You want me to take the pill, right? Yeah. Do I have to? You don't have to, I suppose. But what else are you going to do? Nothing. So do you want me to come pick you up? Or are you going to come yourself? I'll meet you there. See you, Cam. The effect should be almost instantaneous. It's a fast-acting chemical. Do you feel anything at all? Um, no, not really. Try jogging his memory, Good maybe. idea. Here are some of your notes from my research. Try reading some. Although the retrograde effect normally extends some years before the brain damage, in some cases older memories remain this, sparring of older memories that leads the idea that consolidation over time involves the transfer of memories out of the hippocampus to other parts of the brain. I don't have a clue what any of that means. It didn't work! But it seems so. How could the drug not work? It should have done something! Damn it, Bridget! Calm down. What the hell are we supposed to do now? Cameron, please! Even if it didn't come back all the way, it should have at least done something! Please be reasonable. Hey. Bridget, Adam is gone! Gone! Hey! I'm not who I was, Cam, that's true. And the drug didn't work, I know, but it's safer for the real people who actually get the procedure. There's no way for them to get hurt. But Adam... No, I don't want any more part in this. I'm out of here. When there's something you've been dreading, builds up inside until it's huge and looming over you. And then, when it doesn't happen, you almost feel disappointed. It's the weirdest feeling. You think that I'd be happy that my life could just stay normal, but I wasn't. Not at all. I couldn't go outside. Nothing felt real anymore, and I still wasn't sure if anything was. Cameron, meanwhile, was looking through all the old notes, trying frantically to find any reason why the drug hadn't worked. So far, all the evidence said that it should have. He couldn't understand why it hadn't. And Bridget seemed content to just go on with work as usual. She'd been calling all sorts of people to try and get the camp procedure patented and released witness protection agencies all over the country. Yes, of course you can put my name down for head developer, Mr. Workman. B-R-I-D-G-E-T. C-O-N-N-E-L-Y. Yes. Well, Mr. Workman, uh, yes, indeed. I'll be in touch. Yes, Cameron? Cut the crap. They're Tic Tacs, Bridget. Tic Tacs. I don't I had them tested, Bridget. Where are the real pills? Cameron. Where are they? Fine. Take it. Good luck getting him to take it now. It's too late anyway. We'll see about that. What's this about? Bridget switched the pills. This is the real one. So what did I take? A Tic Tac. <laughs> A Tic Tac? <laughs> hmm. Never thought it would be such a tough decision to choose between reality and non-reality. I understand. Nah, you really don't. But it's okay. Oh, God. 
Adam. Adam, are you alright? Cam. Adam. What's wrong? Are the memories back? Yeah, yes, but... Adam, but what? Adam, talk to me. Crowded. What do you mean by crowded? The memories aren't going. Two people. Oh, God. Adam? I'm two people. Adam. Take me to headquarters. You shouldn't be out. Take me to headquarters, or I'm driving myself. Okay. Never would have imagined how much it would hurt, having more things in your head than it was built to handle. Two sets of memories, two personalities. Worse than the pain was the confusion. The memories meddled together. I couldn't remember what was real and what wasn't. Everything felt wrong. I thought getting the real memories back would bring clarity, but it just made everything worse. I think you're sitting at my desk, Bridget. I see you got your memory back. No thanks to you. So why'd you do it, Bridget? So you could take the job? So you could take credit for the whole procedure? It's not fair. I did most of the work. It's not right that you should have your name above mine when I figured out how to do it! And you never thought to talk to me about this? You'd rather leave me trapped in a fake mind or two? Two. Here's how it's gonna go. You're gonna share head developer credit with Cameron, and I'm gonna leave. Don't you dare pull anything like this ever again, or I'll be back. And if all goes well, you'll never see me ever again. Wait, you're leaving? Good luck to you, Cameron, and uh, it was well, Bridget. I hope our work helps people. Adam! Please tell me you're just saying all that stuff. I always mean what I say, Cam. You know that. What are you going to do? I'm gonna leave. Go be normal. Go be Adam Johnson again. Adam. But you can't convince me. I've made up my mind. I don't know what to say. You can say goodbye. <sighs> goodbye, Adam. I'm sorry for all this. You're still my best friend. I haven't forgotten that. <laughs>